Thank you very much, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Labour. Speaker, yesterday injured workers and their advocates gathered on the steps of the WSIB. They were there to send a message to this government that it's not all right to send hefty safety rebates to companies that have been convicted of health and safety violations that have resulted in workplace deaths. They were there to tell this government that it's not all right to sneak in pre-existing conditions as a reason to deny sick and injured workers their rightful benefits. Why is this government allowing injured workers to be harmed by these reckless policy changes? And why does it send fat checks to companies that have been complicit in workplace deaths? Thank you, Minister of Labour. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the, um, to the member for that question. I was able to attend the rally yesterday. I had a good conversation with, with many of the injured workers that had shown up to express their concerns. And certainly these are concerns that have been expressed over the years as each government, each successive government, seeks to improve the system. And often we talk about the premium rates, we talk about experience rating, and I think what we need to do is remember that this system was put in place to treat injured workers. And Speaker, that's what we've been doing at uh, the Ministry of Labour, and the WSIB is doing a review on its benefits policy, it's doing a review on its pre-existing conditions, Speaker, it's consulting with the injured workers community, it's uh, consulting with labour, it's consulting with business. I'm optimistic, Speaker, at the end of this process, we're going to have an improved process in place for injured workers in this province. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. I appreciate uh, the Minister's uh, acknowledgement and reference to the historical significance of why we have the WSIB in Ontario, because under the Justice William Meredith principles agreed uh, and reached in 1913, workers gave up their rights to sue their employers with the expectation of receiving just and fair compensation if they were injured on the job. A just and fair treatment is what injured workers expect, and it's what this government should ensure is provided. But it's not what's happening at the WSIB these days. Every one of the members in this chamber knows that and should acknowledge that. Profoundly unfair and anti-worker policies are being brought in secretly without any oversight from this legislature. When will this government ensure that injured and sick workers are treated with the respect and dignity that they deserve? Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the member for the supplementary. And I think we all agree in this House that injured workers in this province deserve to be treated with respect, deserve to be treated with dignity. I don't think that's in question, Speaker. Often from time to time, the WSIB takes a look at its own practices and policies. It takes, uh, it takes comments from individuals that have, that have availed themselves of the system. It talks to people from the labour community. It talks to people from the employer community. And it seeks to put in, a play, uh, in place a system that is fair to all employees in this province. As a result of the input that has come in from, uh, from labour groups, from injured workers groups, changes have been made to the pre-existing policies, changes have been made to the benefit policies. I'm hopeful, Speaker, as we move ahead uh, with the input from the three parties and from the opposition parties, that we see further changes to the experience yes, rating sir. program as well. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you.